Well, I have managed to set up a composition on the 4x5 and I've got the tripod legs spread pretty wide and sort of really anchored, dug down into the sand. So I'm confident this isn't going to go anywhere, um, but you know, just in case, staying close. Uh, but yeah, it's just a matter now of waiting for the right clouds to shift in the sky over the composition, which they're sort of changing every 5-10 minutes with that uh, pretty gusty wind and you know the clouds are really important because they they change the balance in the scene and I think they reflect nicely those big granite boulders there's a nice sort of juxtaposition or maybe not juxtaposition but pairing between those two elements in the composition otherwise I've metered with the red filter at a quarter of a second f22 and a half which basically just places that uh, the main subject about middle grey and making sure that these uh, burnt feindos go fairly dark but not completely black maybe sort of zone 2-ish um, but yeah there's also sort of changing light as you might have just noticed as the cloud breaks and uh, the sun comes through so I'll wait for the right conditions and then fire off my first shot. It's, it's uh, something I've been looking to try and do in this location for quite a while, um, but the clouds coming through like this are pretty rare in December. So glad to be out and uh, very much enjoying this morning. So I'm up at the top of the nature reserve right now and there are some spectacular views out over um, the whole valley there. But I've also been trying to keep my eye out for some of the more intimate scenes here. And uh, one of which is all of these trees in Feinbos that actually grow right near the granite rocks. So if you sort of just look over my shoulder, hopefully that's exposed all right you can see uh, this tree that basically comes straight out of the bottom of the rock and they actually do this because the rocks provide shelter from well you can hear it probably in the microphone pretty crazy winds so it's a, a nice little sort of symbiotic relationship going on there and I think it can make for quite an interesting photographic subject but the trick is finding sort of the right tree with the right rock and sometimes they even split the rocks as the tree gets a bit bigger so that can be quite interesting as well uh, but as I said it's pretty difficult to find and I'm also finding that up close the granite texture just isn't that aesthetically appealing to me I think as a sort of en masse from afar it uh, it looks great but up close there's something about the texture and the sort of coarseness of the rock that uh, I'm just not enjoying that much but I'm gonna keep my eye out you never know there might be something that's quite almost graphical in its representation as you get these dark uh, burnt tree trunks against a, a pale granite rock
but yeah, I'm gonna keep going and just uh, enjoying this little drive now. Right, well, one more composition here. Um, walked down and came quite close to the rocks, but this big one uh, just behind you is, it's a bit plain and there's not much in the way, in, in the way of uh, foreground interest. And actually a lot of these protea that you can see behind me are like two and a half, three meters tall. So it's quite hard to photograph uh, over the top of them they will all come into frame, um, but I found a little spot here that's kind of open and I'm a little bit elevated. So I've found a position where I can um, isolate the rocks a little bit better and I've got one tree right in the bottom of the frame where I'm just leaving that there for scale. Um, and hopefully that shows, you know, the enormity of these rocks. The other thing that really interested me is there's this gorge that runs between two of the biggest rocks and it's filled with uh, trees all the way down. So I've really tried to place that gorge and the little tree at the bottom uh, balanced fairly center just to uh, draw the viewer's eye there as much as possible. But the only thing left now is actually just waiting for some of these clouds to shift um, as I uh, have got on there, orange filter, so I really want the little patches of sky uh, to be blue so that I can properly dis uh, properly make that granite rock stand out, you know. I think if I leave the filter off it'll blend in a little bit or uh, actually those highlights of the sky will be distracting. So yeah, lots of challenges, but working with the conditions, I think. Just waiting for that blue patch of sky to roll behind the subject. You can see this huge band of blue here, um, so just waiting for the wind to push that through. But I've metered the scene at uh, 1 15th of a second f22.5, and, and that's giving me plenty of uh, depth of field on the ground glass with uh, 
pretty minimal camera movements really. Just uh, been very careful to level the tripod to avoid any weird convergence because this rock here is actually quite pointy from this perspective anyway. So I'm trying to get the camera up high as possible and then just use rise, uh, front rise, to get the right perspective. Um, but yeah, just s simple image management and now just waiting for the light. Thank you. 